Hello, this is Nicole coming to you today to share with you the vertical paper bag mini album that I made uh, by Kathy King. This is a, a project that I started about two, three months ago and didn't get finished. So yesterday I put my music on so that I can get my creative mojo going and I was finally able to get it finished. So here it is. And then here's the side. And I'm going to go over the paper collection that was used for this to go about making it. It is Prima's stationer desk that I used. And I also used uh, a couple of different things as well. I used paper clips and tickets and tags. So basically out of this I used the, the ticket piece. The paper size that I use is the 12 by 12. The 12 by 12 was used for the covers. I use the A4 for the pages. And then I also used the 6 by 6 as well. With some collections, when you use a 6 by 6, the colors may be off. The colors are more intense and sometimes more saturated, aside from the, the print being, of course, smaller. I was really pleased that this worked really well for this particular collection with the color and size and using that to put together the matting for the pages. And um, for some paper collections, they'll actually have a coordinating piece here and so that's what I used when I went about matting the pages so I wanted to go through and show you some of that right here before we got to the inside of the mini album but if you're ever concerned about how to go about matching prints and colors if the paper collection that you choose has this coordinating strip up here, then you can also use that to help you in coordinating the colors when you go about doing your matting. And so it kind of takes away some of that guesswork. If you're stumped at how to go about matching them up, what colors to match up, so on and so forth, then you can use this to assist and seeing how to go about putting together those colors. So again, with this particular project, I went ahead and did that. And it really, really helped in putting it together. Not only that, but with knowing that the construction within this mini album is pretty straightforward, and knowing the different sizes for the matting, then I could match them up, cut them out using my guillotine cutter, because I can cut several pieces at once and it made, made quick work out of putting it together. The other thing too was some of the coordinating colors, uh, coordinating um, solid colors. Again, there are some collections that will actually have the color pieces down here. So if you want to try to match your solid colors, coordinating colors with the print. If they have that, then you can use that as well. Typically what I'll do when I go to Hobby Lobby or to Michael's is I'll take a piece of the collection with me that has a lot of the colors that are used. So I might take maybe two or three of them aside from this color piece down here to see about matching up those colors. Burgundies are really hard, some greens are really hard, so in doing that it helps me to, to match up the solid coordinating colors with uh, the actual collection. And so again, here's the album. Let's get to the inside. This, uh, These pieces were just, um, I'm always collecting metals. I just have this thing for them to put together this. And it's held together by elastic. So it's something that's really, really simple to put together. These are the Tim Holtz. These are the really small ones. So that's what I use to kind of keep that, keep that together. Um, 
so it doesn't spread out. Let's work. There we go. And there we go. So these are, this is the inside, and there are six pages. As I mentioned before, the construction is very simple, very Everything is basically the same. The only thing that's going to be different, of course, is the, the, the matting that was done. Here's the paper clip that I was talking about that I used. And then the ticket piece from the ticket and tags. Each one of these six pages has a magnet here to hold this top flap closed. You don't have to, but I like to use magnets. And with this, it, it helps in putting in the construction and keeping things in place. So. It's pretty, pretty sturdy at that. Before I had matted all of this and I had all the pieces, the base pages put together, um, it was so strong that it actually held all of these pages together. And then once uh, the matting took place, this back piece didn't connect to this piece anymore. But this again is very, very strong. So as I mentioned before, in being able to match these up and in using that top strip, so that you could see how the pieces coordinate together. That's how I went about constructing and matting these. So here is the inside of that flap. And there's a pocket here. And then a pocket here. And again, each of these pages are constructed the same. So each one of these will have a pocket here, a pocket here. This you can put a picture on it or you can um, uh, use it as a photo mat. This here is a belly band. Again, photo mat, or you can use uh, chalk pens to, to write on it. And then of course you've got the paper bag piece here that you can also put pieces in. I didn't put anything in there, but you can. For the front part of each bag, I used the 6x6 six six pages. This part down here was cut to about 3 and 3 quarters by 4 and a half, and then the rest of it was put up top. With the back side of the, the bag, Kathy showed us how we could make this like an extended pocket so that it goes all the way down instead of it going just to like right here. It goes actually all the way down. And so back here you've got your pocket. This can be used as a journal piece or you can also put your photos on there. And then this stamp here is from Graphic 45. I don't remember what collection it was, so I'll look at for it and then have it notated down in the notes of the video in case you want to get one. As I mentioned, they're all um, constructed the same with your pocket, your pocket, your belly band. This is from the 12 by 12 cutout. Again, this is from the 6 by 6 cutout. You've got your pocket, pocket, and then it just flows through. As I mentioned before, with the solid coordinating colors in, in trying to match this, sometimes you can match them, sometimes not. I try to get as close as possible. Again, the burgundy sometimes are really, really hard to match, so I was really happy that I was able to get something that works and um, get that to fit. It, in using the A4, I used that for the back side of the bag again and I was really shocked that I didn't use a whole lot of paper in constructing this uh, in using the A4 a lot of the pieces um, I was able to use for you know these little these little pieces here so it was amazing that that uh, even with six pages and doing all of this matting that I really did not go through a whole lot of paper, which is kind of nice when you're limited on what you have, that you can have a project that will actually stretch the pieces. And so then here's the last page. In the tutorial, Kathy has uh, 
pockets on the front and back. And as with any tutorial, you can pretty much make it uh, to fit your style and your needs. Um, for this particular one, it didn't to me it didn't warrant having the pockets there, so I did not add them. And uh, but if you want to, you can. And this was a lot, a lot of fun to put together. Again, um, six pages. A lot of times when I do mini albums, depending on how much interaction there is, I'll only do three. But with this one, uh, using the paper bags, and because they're so thin and there's not a whole lot of bulk in it, being able to use six bags in here and actually do six pages was kind of cool. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. I hope you like it. And if it's something that you would like to make, again, I'll have the, the link so that you can go back in the tutorial. Thank you for watching.